Good morning. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hope you're all well. Uh, just to let you know, I've got a bit of a sore throat and my nose is blocked up and a bit of a headache. So I, I feel a little bit rough. I'm all right for streaming, but I don't feel 100% right now. So if I suddenly go quiet, I'll start coughing. You know why. So, yeah. Great. Just woke up this morning, hardly slept a wink. I just feel a bit rough. No idea what's going on. Something's going through me. Anyway, we're here. Onwards and upwards. In fact, I'm getting a bit warm as well. I'll take this off. It's not allergies. It's definitely not an allergy thing. It's something is uh, having a go at me. I'll live. Uh, Thomas, thank you for half a year. Uh, Steve O, thank you for 16 months. M Mr. Target, thank you for nine with the Twitch baby. Svard Masterin, thank you for 79. We have $149,000 in this wallet. I don't know how, I don't know what notes we've got in there, but they seem to pack down quite nicely. I think maybe I've got like 14 $10,000 notes or something. <laughs> But yeah, we're doing okay. We need 200 grand for the D6, but that'll that'll bump up the running costs. So we just need to work out what we're going to take. We'll have a look at the jobs and let that steer us into what licenses to get. Let's uh, wander in and have a look around, shall we? I don't think I have any fees left. No, we've cleared all them. Licenses we have. We don't. We still don't have the multiple unit yet. What would that? That would increase the copay for some reason. I mean, it's more of a convenience feature, that. Manual service, 20 grand. Logistical, D2. Concurrent jobs, 1. Wow. 5% knocked off your time. Train length. I like how train line 2 reduces your time deadline. It's like, how does that work? So you take a bigger train and it makes it more difficult. <laughs> Hazmat 1. Hazmat 1 puts your insurance up by 38 grand. That's just insane. Yeah, you want, you want to stay clear of all the military stuff. It's just, you know, $300,000 insurance copay just... Yeah, no. <laughs> nope. Anyway, let's have a look what we've got here. A lot of parent AG train. That would generate a job. Uh, unload. Nope. A lot of parent train. Uh, big lad, thank you. 43 months. Thank you for another month of fanatic legendary streams. <laughs> that is an unload. The only problem with that is it needs long two to do it. Twenty three grand just to unload some stuff. Blimey. That seems like a <coughs> that seems like a lot of money just for something that is yard work. Two drop-offs. 1,140 tons. Ouch. That, that's big boy stuff. Big boy stuff, that is. As is that one there, look. Crude oil. 900 tons. Hazmat one, long two. <coughs> that's low rubbish. Can't do that. That's a long two, so we're not going to be doing that one either. Whole empty cars, 25 grand. See, I mean, that's, that's entirely doable, but it would need long two to get it. I won't dismiss it just yet. Uh, what are we up to? Club Villain, 25 months. Thank you very much. And a big lad dropping 10 subs at the end of the month. I think today's the last day of April, isn't it? I believe it is. May Day tomorrow. 
Uh, big lad, thank you for dropping 10 subs. If you got a sub, please give me a thank you, and thank you for the score gifts. A three shunter job. It is a three shunter job, but we're not doing it. That's rubbish. We're not doing that. I'm amazed there's only one logistic hold job here. Look at that. One. That's pretty unusual. What's that one? Hazmat 3. That's a definite no. Uh, what's that? Hazmat 2. That's a definite no. Uh, hazmat 2. Long 2. Possible. If, like, both of those are long 2. Wait a minute. Steel mill? Uh, 700 tons? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be hauling that anytime soon. Look at the southwest job. Which is the southwest job? This one? You mean this one? The 500 ton one? Needs a long two. <coughs> hazmat one. That's not going to happen. We're not going anywhere near hazmat. Uh, that's a long one. What's that one? Okay, so the, these are all long one. So we'll put them down here. That is a potential concurrent job there. That's potentially doable, but it's not huge money. You get away with one shunter on what? On, on this? 500 tons? Out of the harbour? You must be kidding. What planet are you on? A shunter's rated for 400 tons on the flat. There's no way that can hold one shunter out of a harbour. How much is the steam train? 50k and 200k for the DE6. The steam train is cheaper than the DE6 because it's a lot more complicated to operate. Put that there. They're all long ones. They're all going to the food factory. The middle one's worth 16 grand. If we had concurrent two, we could do all three. But then, yeah, well, I think two shunters would handle it. But we'd have to make three drops. But we'd need concurrent three, so... That would be... Sorry, concurrent two. It would be that one. Which would increase our copay by nine grand and drop our time bonus by five, which is quite a lot. Uh, and that would bring us up to 16 plus 7 plus 7. It's about 30 odd grand all told. You probably wouldn't get the bonus on everything. The food factory is a real pain to get to as well. A real pain to get to. You get 54 minutes to get from here to here. So you're either going that north route, down that spiral, or you're going the long way. Like that, which is very long. I can't remember what that climb is like that way. Don't go that way very often. You, you could do it that way, though. I think that's a... Dis oh, I'm trying to remember. I think it descends when you go clockwise. Does, can anybody remember? Is that... Is that a descent down there? I think it is. If you go clockwise, and a climb if you go anti-clockwise. Because if it's a climb, climbing turn, it actually might actually be a climbing turn, actually, I don't know. Hmm. I, I, I did go there so infrequently, I can't remember. <clears throat> we'd have to double shunt it, and we'd have to get the uh, concurrent two. And it would increase our copay to like 20 grand, which is a lot. The question is, are we ready for that yet? That's a long two, which I don't think we have either, do we? Twenty grand. It's only a two percent reduction on the time bonus. See, two percent I can deal with. Five percent is quite a bit. Uh, Frizzles, thank you for seven months. You're now finally in a position to subscribe yourself. Content is such high quality and, su and super entertaining. Oh, thank you, Frizzles. Thanks for subbing as well. 
Coops, thank you for 49. This game looks loads better. Uh, still missing a trash can next to the driver interface. <laughs> Dude, if you think this looks better, you should see what's coming this summer. It, they've overhauled it massively. I can't wait to show you what's coming. It's, it's amazing. So, yeah, I don't know whether to go long two and take some empty cars. That's a, one, a single shunt back to the oil well. City Southwest. It's a pity we can't combine those two. Oil well's fine. I'm just worried about bumping our copay and dropping our deadline too early because it will stifle us a bit. Because effectively, it just adds to your overheads. Military is a non-starter, Jag. Shubham, thank you for 29 months. You can forget military and hazmat stuff until you've got hundreds of thousands in your bank. Like, it's, there's just no point. Your copay is so big. Go away, steel is always better than the other side, which is uphill. Yeah, I do seem to remember that that, that route, though, is pretty bad. That's a long zigzagging climb, if I remember. But I want, I'm also keen to go different places because we keep coming back through here. And it's about time we went somewhere else. Like, I'd love to go up to the iron ore at some point. Because the iron ore mine, I think, is downhill. Iron ore will come down to the steel mill, won't it? So at some point, we should just go up there. I don't know if there'll be a shunter there. There might be. The coal mine is a pain to get out of. An absolute pain. That is a heck of a climb up. But I think the iron ore mine is up, is up and then mostly down. Not sure how well it pays, that's the only problem. Food factory in town. Food factory in town. That's the industry. Food factories here, its output lines go to city and town. Okay. So you'd be coming from here to here, presumably, down that road. <clears throat> yeah, I might just jump somewhere else. I'm just thinking about where, like, we're doing a lot of runs around the harbor. I'm kind of thinking, let's go somewhere else. We could either try the food factory or the iron ore for the lols but like I say I don't know if there's a couple of things up there any shunters I don't know what vehicles are up here how much is it to teleport to the $1800 $1800 just to go there blimey $1200 to go to the coal mine Food factory in town, 1600. Ouch. All right, we're gonna have to um, bite the bullet. Actually, I, I might fast travel to, I might fast travel to, I can't do that yet. There's no point going to the ore well. Go here. Yeah, I mean, you know, you can press F key all day long, but over huge distances, it becomes a bit faff. So we are, what, we're in the coal mine? Yep, so there's a coal mine. Blimey. It... Whoa, that wasn't here last time I came. Pretty sure the last time I came here, that did not exist. Well, okay then. Six hundred tons. Look at that. Not a power train with cold. See, the next thing is, are there any shunters around here? They usually leave a steam, I think, around the coal mine. But I don't know if they leave anything else. Excavators. Lots. Oh, there you go. Yeah, the steam train. 
Yeah, they don't, they don't leave you the shunter down here. Because it literally can't deal with it. Sadly, no, I won't be watching the F1. Because it just it sits right in the middle of the stream day, so it's a bit of a pain. Like, normally I can flex around the F1, but when it starts at 12 o'clock, it's like, eh. D6. So yeah, no shunters here, I don't think. Nope. We don't have a D6 license. <coughs> so there's nothing we can do from the coal mine or the iron ore mine purely because we just don't have the horsepower to move stuff. There is a steam loco at the coal mine, but we don't have a license for it either. Okay, so we're now at the food factory. Let's have a look around the food factory. Is a shop here? I think there's a shop here, isn't there? Have a look in the shop. There it is. What the? Oh, is this the, um, yeah, the old Bob's garage key? The one where you go, it's like that thing that you press up and down and move along. Quick guide, cassettes, yeah, okay, shovel, lighter, the usual thing. I think we bought all that, didn't we? Shovel, lighter, you know. How do you actually activate this thing? How do you open the lighter? There we go. Lovely. <laughs> There's something very satisfying about the sound of a Zippo. What have you got for us? Uh, unload. It's another long two. Goods factory. There's three goods factory ones here. Funnily enough, another harbour town and another harbour town. That requires a long two. Do you know, that's not paying very well considering how far away that is. And neither of these. They're all a bit meh. 21 minutes to get to the goods factory from here. I suppose it's not a huge distance, but even so. That's not a lot of time. Two seventy-eight tons. You could take that plus another. I don't know. I think the rent on the vehicle alone would be. It just wouldn't be worth it. Meh. These jobs are meh. Maybe I'm just being too greedy. Shunting work. Right, there's two steel mill. That one's worth a lot, but that's 580 tons. But combined with that, 800. Oof, that's nearly, ni that's like 900 tons. I don't even think two shunters could handle that. Actually, where are we going? Steel mill. The steel mill is... 
downhill. So, as long as you can brake and slow down for that bend, you probably get away with it. Does it cost a lot to fast travel? Depends where you go. I just spent about $2,000 moving around. Why does that pay 27 grand? What, what am I missing here? What, what am I missing? Hauling empty cars that only requires a long haul license. Only 170 tons down to the harbor pays 27 grand. What am I missing? Logistic, you may have to move cars out of the way. Yeah, but it pays a lot of money. From here down to the harbour, that pays a ton of money. We could possibly find... Factory... It's a pity we can't combine that with a steel mill as well. That'd be amazing. But to get... The, the problem is if we combine it with a steel mill, we have to go into the steel mill and then we're reversing out and that's, an, that's not going to happen. I'm just going to grab this and have a look around. LH17. It's a load of empty cars. these, aren't it? They are. How late is 17? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cars in total. here. Am I missing something? Well, the harbour is the import-export for the whole thing, isn't it, Billy Master? So, you need to fill them. It says haul empty cars. Do we need to empty them? Maybe we need to... No, we don't need to empty I don't know. I don't get it. What am I missing? Why is it 27 grand? I mean, yeah, maybe when we get to the other side, we've got to move some stuff out of the way. Maybe. Or maybe when we get there, we've got to put some cars in one place and some other cars in another. But that's, you know, that's okay, I think. The next question is, did we leave a shunter up here? <laughs> the answer is yes, we did. It's 171 tons, so we should be okay with one shunter. What's up, pups? Not someone needs a kick. Why, well, what's up with him now? Maybe there's another update, I don't know. One second. Let me stop it. Right, it's coming back now. 
give it give it a minute. Um right, so if we wanna go over there, where are we? Machine factory. So we're here. I think it was over at C probably, so I just need to pull out towards the south. Hang on. Is that locked? See the bots working, pups. Right, I think we want to reverse out to here. And then I think we're going to be coming back in this way. Take a left turn. And then a right turn. Oh no, hang on. I think it was these cars, wasn't it? 17. Left there, left there. Yeah, it's got to be a multi-drop at the other end. There's no way this is a simple drop. Yes, I do have a timepiece. Well remembered. Uh, we start the clock, can't we? How long have we gotten the job? 66 minutes, but there's going to be shenanigans at the other end. Uh, this doesn't seem to okay. Yeah, it makes sense, Costa. Which latest stream, OJ? Do you mean yesterday's stream? When you say the latest streams, which ones do you mean? Wait, 
last week's streams and all the score plus. I'll get it checked. Get it sorted today. Um, I am finding the shop. I can't remember where it is. Where's the station gone? Is it down there? There it is. It's moving, time is on. So what are we looking at? We're looking at haul the trains to the following location, Harbour Town. Okay. When you get to the Harbour Town, uncouple all nine cars at G7S. Wait, what? Is that it? Wait, how is this a logistic job? I don't get it. This is literally a straight take some stuff from here to that. What am I missing? Take some stuff, drop it off at G7S. G7S could be full of wagons. Maybe. There's G. I mean, we could just push things out the way, go on. I mean, whatever's in there, we just hook up to it, release the brakes and push it out the way. I don't really care what happens to it. <laughs> Coming in from the west, G7F is the far right track.
they are the correct raggers. We went through them. We, we checked the start and end is LH17. Every single one is an LH17, and there's nine of them. It can't be any other way. Why do I have to go past and then reverse? G is a straight through, isn't it? What are you betting, Larry? It's not a bet without something that you're putting in, right? What, what's the skin in the game here? No, I won't trust L. What are you talking about? Look, if there's wagons on G7S, I come in, I hook up to them, I push those wagons out of the way, drop this, hand it in, and then I pull those wagons into a different track. Job done. What, what's the big deal here? As long as these cars are on that G7S, I can hand the job in. And then I can just push the others out of the way and bring them into a different empty track. I don't need to reverse it at all. You're overthinking it. Lone Star, thank you for 22 months. Miko, thank you for 29. Amstein, thank you for 38. Snowing outside today. What? Snowing? And already changed the summer tires. Snowing, where are you? <laughs> it's it's all flat ground, Maru. We can push it. I reckon. We'll see. cold weather for the last couple of days. Ah, you're in Norway. That says it all. <laughs> Have you heard about the heat wave in Spain? It's like 38 Celsius down there. I've got a friend who has a place in Portugal and he just came back from there and said it's nearly 40 Celsius. It's ridiculously hot. I mean, it's not ridiculously hot for Spain, but it is in the middle of April, or the end of April. It's crazy. Thank you for subbing with Prime. Welcome. Okay, signal set. Well, I went there. It's pretty good. What are we looking at right now? 16. It's sunny though. Dira Valley was built originally on VR, yes, and then, then they added non-VR later.
Yeah, 40 Celsius in England is not a fun temperature because it's quite humid. It gets very sticky. Going rum is not so bad. Yeah, I'll plug you out. So I, I get that. Like, I'm alright in VR, but after about an hour or two, I start to feel a bit oof. E3D in VR, blimey, I'm surprised you got the frame rate. It can't even generate 60 FPS, how the heck can it generate two images at 60 FPS? Like, VR needs high frame rates. It really does, otherwise you start to feel queasy. If you get like 30 FPS or 20 FPS stuttering, it will make you feel sick. You need consistent quick frames of VR. frame rates are fine so they are walking around well when you're in space there's not a lot to draw but when you put your somebody on a planet there's suddenly a lot more to draw isn't there that's what that is Why the cars just suddenly appear when you're about to smash into them. You're like, oh, there's a lot of empty track, I'm okay. Oh, no, it's not. Beat Saber. <laughs> Isn't that one, <coughs> that one where you sort of have to hit notes or something coming at you? I wonder how many living rooms have been destroyed from people playing Beat Saber. <laughs>
I used to like not VR, but using like the hand controllers. Do you like the nin Nintendo Wii? Like the golf games and the um, the ten pin bowling games, like all that kind of stuff. I like that because you can get like four of you, get your family, and you can like you know go bowling, go play some golf. It's quite funny. You've got the controller movement. It's not VR, but it's uh, it is fun. Wii boxing is just rubbish. I hate Wii boxing. down for the climb. It's like 15 minutes. SLI died a death in it, the whole uh, graphics card combined thing. I think they realised it was too difficult. This turn really kills your speed. Well, never mind shoehorning two 4090s, imagine the power draw on your computer if you had two 4090s in there and they're like a 12th or a 13th gen intel imagine that that's a high running cost that is saves money on heating only if you want the heat in that room if you want the heat somewhere else things are going in like 10 years we'll need three phase into our houses just to power our graphics cards <laughs> the light yeah it's on warm <laughs> did you know the caboose shows a red dot on the map so you can see where the new train is uh, no because I've never used the caboose Thanks up today. Looks like quite the rig. Just have a look. Uh, yeah, I believe they're up to date. I mean, my rig's over two years old now. February 2020. In fact, my rig was built. Actually, wait a minute. It's three years old. My rig was built at the point where we went into COVID. In fact, it was built about the day before lockdown in the UK happened. 
we, we literally had to finish filming and go home and the day after they, they shut the country down. So that's sort of over three years old now, isn't it? I mean, it is time for an upgrade, but it isn't. Like, I don't really feel like my machine is struggling. I don't. And also, I know that if I upgrade it, I'm going to be on some 40 series graphics card, which is going to be really power hungry. Mark H, thank you for half a year. Like, this 3090 is still doing all right, you know? I kind of feel like I want to skip generations in graphics cards. 3090, the next one will be like a fifth generation, maybe, depending on what they do. I quite like the fact that my machine is still performing after three years. I think that's really nice. Because, you know, stuff is expensive. So you want things to last. Yeah, I mean, I used to have a 2080 Ti before the 3090. It's still a pretty good card. Like a 1080 going to a 4070s, that's quite a big jump. Yeah, I think if you're going 4K, you, it's, it's wise to upgrade your card. like four times the pixels, a lot of pixels. Uh, I don't know, Chris, what power supply have you got? Uh, RAM is a good look. I don't run 4K, no. At some point, I probably should like replace these monitors with 4k at some point you think it's 750 yeah you'll need to upgrade <laughs> 750 is like pushing it 850 you probably got a bit of margin but 750, I wouldn't feel too comfortable. Still using a 970. Lol. I used to have, I used to have two 970s, I think. I was it 980s. I had two of them in SLI. Depends on GeForce now. I don't, I don't use it personally, so I don't really have an opinion. Um, Mini Catalyst is astigmatism. That's an eye thing, isn't it? So why does going to 4K make a huge difference? Is it because you've got finer, like more pixels, you've got finer image, like a better image? Does that help somehow?
interested. Less below the need for anti aliasing. Yeah, I should probably go 4K on my next upgrade just so I can record 4K videos. Range extender for what remote crisps? Yeah, if you go for a big screen like a 42 Villamizer, then you absolutely need the density. No, Ryan, mine's a, a 1080 screen. JCB video night channel. Yeah. The problem is, night owl, is somebody's got to pay the bill, mate. <laughs> if you imagine, like, it, for JCB, they let me play around in their stuff, like the 26 ton excavator. Who knows how much diesel that thing chewed through? I added a couple of hours onto its running time. Like, somebody's got to pay for all that. Not to mention the travel, the hotel. That was covered by Astragon, like... I'd love to do more of those things, but somebody's got to foot the bill for it. Oh yeah, it's, it's totally free advertising. I mean that's that's literally what they're getting out of it is is brand brand awareness which is why they do it you know it gets more people interested in operating that kind of machinery gets the brand in their head like the younger generation the next generation coming through thinking about what career they want you see that kind of thing they think oh you know i want to do that and i remember jcb that's why they do it Uh, did Thomas thank you, 21 months. Mark H, thank you for half a year. Well, they're not multi-million. I think that excavator, at a guess, probably cost a few hundred thousand. The the backhoe, I don't know how much they cost. 150, 200, I don't know. But they're not, you know, they're not millions or anything. Satna says you talk to her in a, in a weird way. <laughs> what does it say? Or talk to her. Flying's not happening at the moment, Night Owl, because the plane's still grounded. We've had all kinds of issues. But I think they've managed to get to the bottom of it all now. It seems to be the alternator, amongst other things, which is masking a battery problem. Which was also masking a charger problem. Like, there's, there's just a series of things, but they've managed to get to the bottom of it. I'm just sitting back waiting until people have flown it, because I don't want... 
the danger is you fly it away and you can't start it again. And I'm not having that, so I'd rather wait for somebody else to do some flights. Be the guinea pig. Yeah, it was. It's the altern the alternator was basically they took it apart just a few days ago, and it was literally on its way out, and that was causing. How do you get in? <laughs> that was causing an intermittent problem. That was causing like an intermittent problem um, with the charging of the battery when you were flying. So they kind of thought they kind of thought it was a battery problem, but it was actually a battery problem and a charger problem uh, being masked by an intermittent uh, alternator problem. So yeah, it was all a bit of faff, really. You let yourself in. Well, if you go over a year without flying, do you have to retake? No, no, no. Your license is for life, but your currency uh, is the important thing. You need to make sure you're current. If you don't fly for more than 90 days, you're supposed to go up. It's all dictated by your insurance, not your license. It's literally the insurance that, that demands you remain current. The license lasts forever. to put you down in a second because I really need to focus on this pip. <laughs> I don't know what the points are set to. <laughs> that should be going... Oh god, where am I? That should be going left. Disoriented myself. After the triangle turn right... Down into here, turn left into G, and then keep right, 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 right into G7S. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff here. We'll just push that out of the way and then pull it back into a different lane somewhere. With that one. Doesn't really matter where it goes. This game is on Steam, early access. That wasn't Doyle, that was Pepper. minutes. Chance for the brakes to pressure. If you uncouple those double locos from the wagons. If you uncouple those double locos from the wagons, what double locos? Oh, you mean the ones I've still left over there from last time? That's now in. We'll put that on plus one. We'll 
decouple that. We should have disconnected the front, which it did. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to couple that. Do minus one. Okay, let's go and hand this in, and then we'll move some stuff. Look at that. 40 grand. 40 grand. An absolute steal. I could just fast travel out, but you know. Where's the sand room? That's random. Actually, what I might do, I might stop this. I might go and pick up those other two and move them. Because we're kind of leaving locos around the yard here a little bit. grab them too. It's going to inhibit the jobs, I think. Rip. Oopsie. <laughs> I kind of meant to go down the other way. <laughs> you know that 40 grand we just made? <laughs> Don't think we... Pay the copay. Oh, my God. 75... 77% on that. Ouch. <laughs> well, we may as well do all the damage we're going to do, and then... Mistakes are made. I was not paying attention. I, I was meant to be driving down that line. I knew what I wanted to do. I was just getting ahead of myself. So I may as well cause more wear and tear to this thing and then go and do the copay on it. <laughs> I 
That's not a train wreck, bro. Come on. It's just a, a mild scratch. <coughs> Although I reckon that's probably about four or five grand. No, nah, actually, that's probably... <coughs> I reckon that's probably about 50 grand's worth of damage on that car. And I don't know what on this. Decided to join me. You right there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this game is fun. It's a lot of fun. You should see the explosions. Yeah, I think I'll drag these shunters away to some sidings. And then these jobs can respawn properly here. We're basically blocking a track, aren't we, with that? Where do we park? Got various options about where we can park them. I can put them all back in the yard, or two of them at least. Put one on one P, one on two P, maybe. Feels like there's a brake on, but the brakes are off. The train brake on the other two was still on. I don't know why. I think the game just like full on train brakes everything when you leave it. Completely unnecessary.
point. Where do we put this? That's the question. If we come out of G, we could reverse and drop it. 1P and 2P. I think we'll put them there. And then we'll take this loco. Actually, there's no point taking this loco for repair. We might as well cope the whole thing. I think you're right. I think it does it to avoid physics calculations. It's just annoying that when you get inside, like all the brakes are racked on full. Locos couple to wagons again puts train brake on when you leave the game. Uh, let's get down here. So we want to hang a left. Leave them there. We'll leave two of them there. We'll have one there. We've got some stuff ready to go. Actually, can stop that, can't I? Hundred and eighty-seven thousand. Not for long. <laughs> 